Hey everyone, John Mazurk of the Mazurk team here at Douglas Elliman, coming to you from the intersection of Flatbush and Maple in Prospect Lefferts Gardens. And as you can see here, we're in front of the Lefferts family homestead. Um, it's a beautiful example of Georgian architecture. Architecture. Wait a second. It was right here. I mean, okay, this is more like it. This is it. You see, this is the example of the Georgian stuff. You know, the Lefferts family gave the house to the city of New York. As long as the city of New York promised they would move it from Flatbush and Maple, a couple blocks down, over here to Prospect Park, where we're at right now. And now it's a heritage center. It talks about what life was like back in colonial settler times. As you can see, it is a classic example of what the Georgian style architecture. And when we say Georgian, that refers to the time of the King Georges, from the early 1700s to the early 1800s. There's a whole string of Georges back in England. And if you know of a guy named George III, he's really famous for or losing the colonies, hence we have our freedom. This style was made popular by Christopher Wren. Really interesting dude, you should look him up. He used to hang out with Isaac Newton and these guys. Wren was really into symmetry and all these things. So we have a door in the middle, we have two windows here, then we have three dormers up top on a gambo roof. Colonnades, you're gonna find those on all your Georgian style as well, all these big columns. And the classic idea is you have this really beautiful portal, then you have the columns in front which always frame the portal. So it was like all this like really good symmetry, that was like the hallmark of uh, the Georgian style that Christopher M was really a big fan of. Now, the Lefferts family name dates back to 1660. Lefferts Petiers came over here with his family and they settled in a place called Midvut, which was the settlement that Peter Stuyvesant made out here in Brooklyn. Later on, about 1680, he bought 50 acres of farmland over here where later on became Lefferts Manor and part of Lefferts Gardens. You're gonna say, wait, this is Georgian style, which was in the 1700s, but the Lefferts got here in 1680. What's the deal? It's a brilliant question. I'm glad I asked. Lefferts himself, he passed the family farmstead down to his son, Sam, who passed on to his son, John, and John lifted to his son, Peter Lefferts in 1776. 1776 was the revolution. One of the big first battles was the Battle of Long Island or the Battle of Brooklyn. That happened right where we're standing right now. We're standing here in what was known as the Gowan Heights. The Gowan Heights overlooked the Gowanus Canal. So you can see where those two names came from. The British landed their troops in Gravesend Bay and they came up the Old Kings Highway in part of Flatbush. There was a huge battle between the Continental Soldiers and the Hessians over here what they call Battle Pass, which is, if you've ever ridden a bike in Prospect Park. There's this big hill that sucks the wind out of your lungs. That's Battle Pass. Peter was a lieutenant in the Continental Army. Peter didn't want his house to fall into the hands of the English, so he burned it to the ground. After the war was over, he came back to the homestead and built this home here, which we said is done the Georgian style. Some of the timbers from the original house, they're able to salvage those things, and they're actually in this house as well. So parts of this house go back to 1680 themselves. It's really an incredible thing. 1893, Brooklyn by this time was like the fourth largest city in America before the incorporation into New York City. Brooklyn Heights was established, Park Slope, had been established, and this whole area was starting to be developed out here. The Lefferts decided, you know what, we're not gonna fight it. Instead of just selling the land off to anybody who wanted to do anything, they sold it off to developers with a number of covenants. Everything had to be a single family home, couldn't be multi-family residences or apartment buildings, had to be brick, it had to be varied architecture. It couldn't just be all brownstones. So it created this like potpourri of architecture that they have over in Lefferts Gardens that remains to this day and what makes it one of the most coveted neighborhoods around right now. And it all leads back to this one dude named Lefferts Petiers. Really cool history. So there you have it, the Prospect Lefferts House here in Prospect Lefferts Gardens in Prospect Park. It's a really exciting place. I encourage you to, to come out and visit it when it's open or at least check it out online. It's a fascinating place. I'm John Mazurk with the Mazurk team here at Douglas Elliman. If you have any questions about real estate or anything to do with the market currently, I'm always happy to chat. And if there's some type of history you want to get a little bit deeper into and you think it'd make a good video, reach out to me, let me know. Flatbush and maple, I don't, just, okay.